All right guys, so there's a ton of videos on how to grow your eBay sales and a lot of speculation, but from watching myself, I'm a fan of other YouTubers as well. I'm gonna be showing you guys the things that I've noticed that every successful reseller does and what I've done personally to grow my sales substantially. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the things I'm going to be mentioning in this video aren't really in order. Nothing is more important than the other. They're all as equally important to get your sales up. So the first thing is going to be uh, replying to messages. You should be doing that as you wake up, as you're eating, um, as you're, before you go to bed. Knock them out throughout the entire day if you get a lot. I personally get about 60 to 70 messages a day, sometimes less, sometimes more. Um, but I try to knock them out throughout the day. If I mess up and I don't reply to them maybe on a Saturday when I'm busy or I'm just doing other stuff that's not part of eBay, I'll get a bunch on the Sunday morning or if I, you know, same goes for Sunday going into Monday. So I try to knock them out no matter what every day. Number two is gonna be listing as often and as much as you can. I try to list six days a week um, and I save a few items for Sunday so I can uh, launch them and I keep them in my draft I build up a little draft bank so that I can just list them. Right now I'm listing manually, but I have used virtual assistants before in the past. That's helped tremendously. So um, if you guys wanna list as much and as often as you possibly can. If it's five items, whether it's 70 items, it doesn't matter, just list as much as you can that's gonna improve your sales. Cause if you guys are watching this and you're not already successful on eBay, the chances are you're listing a very low amount of items and lower quality items. Number three is gonna be shipping as often as you can as well. Monday through Friday at least, you guys should be knocking out your shipments um, to zero if you don't have that many. Me personally, I get like 50, 60 items a day. And like on Wednesdays, let's say I'm sourcing and I'm busy, I don't ship on Wednesdays. So then I make up for like on Saturdays, but I try to knock them out pretty much every day, however many it is. If I gotta stay late, I gotta stay late, but I try to get them out pretty quickly. And also to get your uh, shipping uh, percentages better, if you're having trouble with your shipments, put everything like three to five days on your shipments and then ship them out uh, like the next day. It'll, it'll help your percentages a lot. So instead of having one day shipping, which you can, if you can do that and sustain that, that's amazing. But instead of like two day shipping, put five and then just ship one to two days. And it'll get your percentage up a lot higher, which equals into more traffic on eBay, thinking that you're doing a much better job whether that if you do it uh, within two days. Number four is gonna be sourcing items. Um, source items as often as you can. And when you do source, try to get the best quality items that you possibly can. A quality item doesn't really, isn't really defined by the price. I'd say if you get something like a lot of 100 things for 10 bucks, it's all quality at that point. You know, something could get, one item could pay for everything. So um, I see it as quality um, in terms of how much you pay. So if I get something that sells for 100 and I paid a, you know, 20 bucks, that's quality. If I get 100 things that sell for 10, but I paid like 50 bucks, that's also quality as well. Um, as you guys can see, I have 13,000 items listed in my store right now, and not everything is $100 and not everything is $10. It's all mixed around. Um, there's, there's stuff that sells very expensive, thousands of dollars. There's stuff that sells for five, six bucks, you know? Um, I try to get as much as I can. Uh, Tekken Sports, uh, this guy that, uh, does like a podcast with his other guy named daily refinement they talk about um how when you're fishing uh some people go for great white sharks fishing on that or whales or a really big tuna fish um and there's other people that get the smaller fish i want to get a few big whales a few smaller fish and a few uh, bigger tunas i want to get all the fishes i can um because it's better than just focusing on big fishes versus small fishes if i could just have a little bit of everything i'm happy with that so I have videos all over my YouTube channel on how to source or how to source items, how I source my items. So check out my entire page on how I do all that stuff. Everything that I've talked about so far in this video, I have videos on how to do that and how to increase every aspect. Number five is gonna be having a good inventory system. I have a very simple, basic inventory system, but it works for me. Um, people like, you know, switching it up. But me personally, I just have numbers one through infinity in terms of the boxes. And on each individual item, I have little, um, markers where it says like whatever number right here. for example right here i have box 66 and um i have items in here and let's say i have a cam a camera and i i get these amazon uh stickers um and it's like number one through ten thousand and i it, each number is uh completely unique 
um, in terms of for each box. Obviously, once I run to ten, through 10,000 listings and I do 10,000 over again, there's gonna be repeated numbers. But for the most part, they're not gonna be, the chances of it being in the same box and the same item are really rare. So I'll put that number on there with a little bit of scotch tape. And I, um, yeah, so I, I put 66-0099 uh, for each item. And that's how I keep my inventory system. I hardly ever lose items. I hardly have to cancel and I hardly get defects uh, because of that. You wanna keep your account very healthy. And that goes to my next one is keeping your account healthy. You're gonna to wanna to avoid late shipments because that can get in the way of your um, seller level, which is uh, you get a percentage for each individual thing, which is late shipments, defects, and shipping percentage. You wanna, uh, everything is a certain amount of percentage that you need to be high over. And as long as you're above all those that you can check in your uh, seller homepage, uh, you, you'll, you'll be good. As long as you're top rated, um, if you're not top rated yet, it takes a little bit to get there if you're newer. But uh, once you're there, you're pretty much solid. Just don't mess up. Um, I think I've only been out of top rated for like one month in the entire two years that I've been doing it. Um, and that was for a few things that I did where I was messing up personally and that was my fault. I put the blame on myself. And yeah, just avoid defects in general. Um, now negative feedbacks, it affect, I have a terrible ne negative feedback. So I'm not one to tell you guys to be careful with that. Um, you know, I can't really talk too much about that, but um, uh, it doesn't really affect my sales. My sales are still really good. Um, and it's just really, it just looks ugly. Uh, for when you guys check out my page, it's like, ah, oh, dang, and, you know, it looks ugly. And when a few buyers might be, uh, you know, scared of that, but for the most part, it doesn't really affect your seller level. It doesn't affect your relationship with eBay. Whenever I talk to eBay about getting some removed, they're like, well, it doesn't really matter. Like it doesn't affect your seller level. It just looks ugly for the most part for the buyers and for someone else looking at your account and all that stuff. So it just looks really ugly, but obviously try to stay at hundred percent. I'm not saying that what I'm, I'm not trying to justify what I'm doing is um, okay. I have like a 96.7. I'm not trying to justify what I'm doing is okay, but uh, don't be scared if you get one or two and you still have like a 99 or 100% feedback. So yeah. And also I have a higher uh, negative feedback thing because I don't test every single item and I haven't been good about it. I've been really good about it the last few months, but some of the items here have been listed over a year ago and they sell and I didn't test it properly or sometimes they just stop working after a while and then I get the negative feedback. So that's where that comes from. And also I get a higher return rate than most people because I sell straight electronics uh, with clothing and shoes. It's a little bit different. Um, you can avoid it a little bit better, but it's no excuse. I, sh I should still be doing better. So yeah, guys, for the most part, every single successful eBay reseller that I've met in person or that I've seen in videos, that's pretty much what they do. Um, and for the most part as well is a big one. Uh, they try to niche down and sell similar kind of items um, and see what they can sell in their area. For me personally, um, I, I like doing electronics, but I can also do shoes if I want, or I could do clothing if I want. Uh, I, if I wanted to, I could do books. Um, so it doesn't really matter. I just kind of chose electronics because I wanted to. Um, but for the most part, you can pretty much resell anything. Obviously in your area, if you can't get electronics, maybe try something else. Whatever I'm telling you right here is gonna be this, it, it's, gonna, it's all gonna apply. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is David Paleo. I'm a full-time eBay reseller, as you guys can see. Um, and I am 25 years old with 13,000 items listed. Comment down three eagle emojis below if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys just support the channel if you've already been subscribed. And I'll catch you guys later.